Hey everyone, today I'm going to be explaining a backrooms level called The Grave, which may be the place where you go when you unalive anywhere in the backrooms. I know lots of you have been wondering well, what happens if you don't make it out of the backrooms alive, so today I'm going to show you the current theory on where you go. Hope you enjoy, let's get right into it. So the grave is an enigmatic level from the wiki dot and it's classified as a class zero. No one's physically been there alive yet, but I'll explain that in a second. The level is the final resting area of the humans and other sentient beings in the back rooms that aren't alive in any way. Now I'm gonna have to be saying that a lot, so get used to it. I don't want to upset Susan. Up until this level was found, it was thought that despawning, wink wink, were in the back rooms like it does in real life. Until someone named Dr. Ibrahim Figueroa came up with the idea that the back rooms as a whole could possibly allow souls to exist within its containment if the conditions were right. So some pretty gruesome tests were done to see if people would appear somewhere else in the back rooms once they were not alive any longer. And at first, there wasn't any noticeable one level where people were appearing at. Until more and more tests were done, eventually all these unalive people were trying to this very level, which is now called the grave. But it took a lot of people to be sent here in order for us to realize that you know, it was this level. As it became more and more consistent that people were coming here after not being alive, this main level picture was eventually taken. The people that were not currently sapient, wink wink, were appearing by floating in the water, coming up from under the water, falling from the sky, popping out on top of stones, or teleporting to this level in other strange ways. Now, for what the grave level actually looks like, it's not too different from the Earth's environment. And it's made up of hills, rivers, valleys, and the typical pretty landscape that you'd find in real life. There are also plants that live here, but their species and origins are obviously unknown. Also, there is a day and night cycle here, but it's longer than the Earth's by about 12 hours. And the daytime isn't lit up by a sun, it's actually lit up by a bunch of different moons. And these moons make the level have a whitish, grayish color everywhere. The most notable feature on this level are the monuments and the structures that are associated with the afterlife. Things like headstones, mausoleums, graves, tombs of all shapes and sizes. These things are all scattered all over the level. And some of the graves are way too big to fit normal people in. So this might mean that a race of giants had been sent here at one time. And these large graves are not the only weird thing on the level though. There's a whole list of weird things that I'm gonna talk about right now. There's a huge complex of gray-scaled buildings hidden within the hills of the level. Each of them has stone shelves inside for caskets and stuff like that, and there are millions and millions and millions of unalive things inside of these buildings, and only a small portion of those millions and millions are actually recognizable as humans, and these bodies are in a state of arrested decay, meaning that they are not decomposing. Each of the humans that's been found is dressed in really strange royalty type clothes like from the medieval times and some of them are even wearing crowns it's not known what all the other bodies are since they aren't obviously humans we can't tell what they are the next weird thing is obviously this huge two-handed sword that has been shoved into a valley between the two main mountains on this level the base of this sword in the ground is old and it's decaying which means that it's been here for a while and sometimes the light will hit the sword perfectly Perfectly and reveal some sort of ancient runes carved into the side, which is just crazy. But it gets crazier because the next huge thing on this level is a giant machine that slowly rolls around the level. It's the size of a mountain and it's made out of old cathedral buildings, so old churches. And it's so big that some of the rivers here might have been carved out by its own movements. If you're near this machine, loud hymns and praises can be heard coming out of the actual churches themselves, which is weird, but it is not the weirdest thing. 
Hold on for a second. And the last weird thing is a massive statue of a creature that stands several thousand feet tall. The creature is unknown, but the statue has eight arms, and its head has hundreds of eyes all over it, which are all closed. Its eight hands come together in the middle, and in the very center of those hands is a very small black hole, which has minor effects on gravity, air, clouds, and just stuff like that on the level. So that's extremely strange. As you can see, there's a giant gray city with corpses in each building, a huge sword stuck between mountains, a massive rolling church that's made out of a bunch of old churches that rolls around and sings hymns, and a huge stone statue of a creature with eight arms that's holding a black hole in the middle of its hand. And the only way any of this information has been seen is by a very disturbing astral projection process, where someone's consciousness gets sent here and stuck here forever. That's why there have been so few experiments done here, because of how dangerous it is. But I think it's safe to say that if you unalive in the back rooms, you'll most likely end up here in this insane level. I actually really like this level. I think it's a very fitting grave area for the people that don't make it out of the back rooms alive. And I like that you can't just get to it. It's only available through astral projection, which is a pretty cool piece of craziness to add on top. Hope you did enjoy the video. I've been waiting to this level for a while now, and I'm actually glad I finally did it. So thank you for watching and supporting me. Check the description below for my second channel, my third channel, those kind of links, and as well as my Discord and Twitter. Make sure you go sub to Toogly and Spoogly because I got content coming up there multiple times a week. Thank you all for the support. I really appreciate it. Also, this coming Wednesday is the return of the fan-made level series. I have a couple of awesome levels that were submitted by you all over on the Discord server. So so if you're excited for that, make sure you tune in next Wednesday for the video that's coming out. It'll be out at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. A lot of you have been asking for the series to come back, so I decided to do it once or twice a month just to add some fan stuff to the channel. And if you are interested in making a level, go to the Discord and go to the Level Submissions tab, create your own level, and then one of the mods will review it and then submit it to me. But this upcoming video has two really good levels, and they're pretty long, so that's why I only did two. But for futures, I could do, you know, more than two if they were shorter. But yeah, I think you're really going to enjoy those levels, and I think you're really going to enjoy what's coming. Also, I have some awesome stuff already planned for the Halloween season here, so if you're ready for Halloween, make sure you just tell... Actually, if you're ready for Halloween, comment spooky brugly because that's how i know that you're ready for one of the best holidays of the year so yeah if you comment that i'm gonna I'm throw a heart at your comment i appreciate you i also have a rec room back rooms video coming up on Tuli pretty soon uh, it was pretty enjoyable to record and i think you're really gonna like it so if you want more of that when it goes up uh, make sure to leave a like on that video and turn your post notice on for Tuli because i got some other bangers going up there once or twice a week Thank you all so much for everything you do for me. I really appreciate your support and just thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next video.